Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and be sure to check out my upcoming free live stream concert, Freebeat Live, Home Edition, Volume 2. It's on Saturday, February 13th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on the channel. Hope to see you there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Welcome to Starting Over. I'd buy this third. If you've just stumbled upon this video and you've got no clue what's going on, I highly suggest you go back and watch parts one and two of this mini-series where I pretend as if my electronic music journey was starting over from scratch and I choose the first three purchases that I would make. Obviously, we've already covered parts one and two, which were the Korg NTS-1 and the Teenage Engineering PO32 Tonic. So now it's time to get into part three, which was a little more complicated. You see, this is a very solid basis for a setup. There's a lot of directions we could go in from here. So my first inclination was to pick up a PO33KO. This is a pocket operator, just like the Tonic, but it's a sampler. And since we have some great sound sources here for sampling, I figured that this would be a good pick because we could make, you know, our own little miniature tracks and have a, a little DAW, basically, in the palm of our hand. The next place I thought about going was an Arturia Keystep, which is a MIDI controller. This would provide us a full keyboard to play the NTS-1 with, as well as some sync jacks and a master clock for the whole setup. Not to mention the outstanding sequencer and arpeggiator found on the keystep. However, I decided to take an even bigger leap, and coming in as purchase number three is the Arturia Microfreak. So the Microfreak is an outstanding digital synthesizer with an analog filter. It's got, thanks to the latest update, I believe 15 different oscillator types. I might be wrong, but it's a good number, as well as tons of controls, a very, very deep modulation matrix. It's got a ton of preset storage, a fantastic, just incredible to use sequencer and arpeggiator with features to randomize those to really kind of get some creative ideas going. It's got this really fun to play key bed that has uh, a pretty unique method for aftertouch and the list just goes on and on and on. Now with all of those killer features comes a slightly elevated price compared to these two instruments. The Microfreak retails for 299 US dollars. That being said, I do feel that the Arturia Microfreak is the greatest value per dollar synthesizer on the market total right now. But at 300 US dollars, the Microfreak does require a certain level of commitment to electronic music, especially if you're just starting out. So you definitely want to make sure that this is a path to pursue or a hobby to pursue, whatever you want to call it. You want to make sure that you are committed to electronic music because this will set you back 300 US dollars. It's also a commitment in terms of willingness to learn because the depth of the Microfreak makes both of these just look like little kids toys. There is a lifetime of sound design and tinkering within this machine. With the incredible digital patch bay, each oscillator by itself is gonna be hundreds, thousands of hours of musical experimentation, let alone, you know, you've got 15 of those, plus everything else that this keyboard can do. But you guys know I love the Micro Freak. Here are four reasons why I would choose it as my third purchase. So the first reason is one I basically already explained. Its sound design is so deep that you will never run out of creative ideas, ever. As long as you keep playing with it, you will be able to use this for the rest of your life. Two is the keyboard. Well, the keyboard is really a key bed and is very fun to play, you know, routing the modulation amount of the aftertouch in the uh, patch bay there. It can also be used as a MIDI controller. So while we skipped on the Arturia keystep, the Micro Freak can still be used to control the NTS-1, which is a lot of fun. You can also layer those sounds and come up with some really unique concepts. Reason number three is that the Microfreak is a great teacher. You can take one of the many presets on the Microfreak and basically deconstruct it. You can reverse engineer it along the way learning what each step does and how those steps and different modulation points and different knob turnings actually create the sounds that you're hearing. And it goes a long way in furthering your own knowledge and understanding of synthesis. And reason number four, just like the tonic, it sounds insanely good with the Korg NTS-1's effects. 
Seriously, a little reverb and delay on this thing, and you will not believe that these two instruments together only cost 400 US dollars. So speaking of these two instruments together, let's go ahead and get that set up. And then after that, we'll bring in the PO32 tonic for a jam. Alrighty, so we've got the Micro Freak running straight into the Korg NTS-1. I've got one of my favorite presets pulled up here on the Micro Freak, which is uh, preset 83, Tradition. Sounds pretty good, right? I like to uh, bring the uh, decay slash release up here. Again, that's an analog filter. So now let's go into our NTS-1 here and get some effects going. About some reverb. Pretty good, right? How about some delay? It's uh, pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Let's find some new presets to work with here. Got the arpeggiator going. Play with some of the mod effects. <laughs> I'm just messing around. There's a ton, a ton here. Way more than I could ever cover. Way more than anyone could honestly ever cover. You see, the more I press on the key, brings in some modulation. Get the flanger going here. One thing I forgot to mention is that the uh, Micro Freak is paraphonic, so we can play up to four notes at the same time. They just use the same envelope and filter. <laughs> fun stuff. There is just so much to the Micro Freak. I, I know I keep saying that, but it really is a ridiculous amount of you know synthesizer for uh, a relatively reasonable price tag. Actually, an extremely reasonable price tag. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Turn off that flanger. I mean, just listen to that with the effects. <laughs> Sorry for your ears if that hurt anybody out there. And we can toggle paraphonic mode on and off on the uh, same patch. So as you can see, there's a lot in this combination to explore. I'm just going through the presets, basically. You know, forget the patch bay or the different oscillator types. It's got a vocoder. There's just, there's so much here. <laughs> sequencer you know i could go on and on this thing is just absolutely phenomenal and truth be told this was a terrible demonstration of what the uh, micro freight can do i just wanted to show you guys you know how the sounds are enhanced with a little reverb and delay so now we're going to bring in the po32 tonic and we're going to have kind of a simple jam i want you guys to hear the somewhat more practical possibilities of this setup so yeah let's bring in the po32 So there you have it, just a fun, basic, simple little jam with the Arturia Micro Freak, the PO32 Tonic, and the Korg NTS-1. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this little series. And I'd just like to uh, state that these were my personal choices, of course. If you feel you would purchase three different instruments, that is more than all right. That's encouraged. Let me know what your choices would be down in the comments below. I'm really actually interested to hear uh, because I'm not sure if mine was too exciting. <laughs> Regardless, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on it. If not, you can leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.